Technology and Livelihood Education, Agriculture and Fishery Arts for Grade 7. Our topic is Breeds of Farm Animals, Cattle, Swine, Goat, Rabbit, Chicken, Duck, and Quail. The content standard is The learners demonstrate an understanding of the concepts and skills in animal production. The performance standard is The learners illustrate the housing requirements for poultry and livestock based on industry standards. The learning competency and objective is The learners will determine the breeds of farm animals. A collective noun is a word that refers to a group of individuals or things as a single entity. It describes a collection of items or beings, often used to emphasize the unity or common characteristics of the group. For example, flock is a collective noun for a group of birds, and herd is used for a group of cattle. Can you name the collective noun for these farm animals? Can you name the collective noun for these farm animals? How about for this one? And the collective noun for this one? Here are the collective nouns for the following farm animals. <music> Discover and learn. The video learning challenge. The students will watch a video clip on the different breeds of farm animals such as cattle, swine, goat, rabbit, chicken, duck, and quail. After which, the students will answer the following guide questions. One. What are the different breeds of farm animals shown in the video? 2. Identify at least five of each type of farm animal and list their distinct characteristics. 3. These are specific groups of domestic animals having similar appearance and characteristics distinct from other animals of the same species. Breeding It is a science of producing another species of livestock through inbreeding, line breeding, outbreeding, outcrossing, grading up, crossbreeding, and species hybridization. Livestock these are various domesticated farm animals raised to provide employment and produce various products for human consumption. Cattle. These are domesticated bovines, primarily raised for various agricultural purposes, like beef production, dairy production, work animals, and hide and leather production. Swine. These are domesticated pigs, commonly raised for various agricultural purposes, like meat production and byproducts. Breeds of cattle. Cattles are types of livestock which includes cows, bulls, and heifers. 
The breeds of cattle are divided into three categories. The dairy breed, the beef breeds, and the dual breeds first is the dairy breed. Our breeds that are selected for milk production next is the beef breeds. Our breeds in cattle specifically raised for meat production and the dual purpose breeds. Our cattle are raised for both milk and meat production. The dairy breeds of cattle. Our breeds in cattle that are selected for milk production. The Holstein Frisian is the world's highest production of dairy animals. The mature body weight of male is 580 kilograms while females are 360 kilograms. There are black and white distinct patches on their skin. Though it has high milk production, it has a low fat content of 3.4%. The Ayrshire breed is medium-sized, known for efficient milk production and adaptability. It is distinct from its red or brown color with varying amounts of white. It has large horns with an upward curve. The matured body weight of the male breed is 900 kg while 600 kg for female. It has moderate fat content of 4% though it contains high protein. The Jersey Jersey is a small breed of dairy cattle. Rich in milk with high butter fat content. Light brown color. Its body weight ranges from 400 to 500 kilograms. Its body color is fawn or light brown. It is estimated that the fat content of its body is 4.8%. The beef breeds of cattle. Are breeds in cattle specifically raised for meat production? Hereford. It is first introduced in the United States. It is noted for its luxuriant grasses. It is bred for beef and draft purposes. Recognizable by its white face and red body, known for good beef quality. Black Angus. It is developed from cattle native to Scotland. It is a naturally polled horn. Its body color is solid black or red. Some are white color. This is the most common beef breed of cattle. The dual purpose breed of cattle. The breeds in cattle raised for both milk and meat production. Debon. It is originated in England. It has a red color. In good working condition, the mature bull weighs 770 to 1000 kilograms. It is good for beef and milk production. Shorthorn. Are a versatile breed known for their dual purpose qualities, producing both milk and beef. The following are the breed of swine. The Berkshire. It is originated in the United Kingdom. It has a short head, curved face, and erected ears. It can have as many as nine litters. Its meat is pork. The American Yorkshire. It is an American breed of large domestic pig. It is derived from the pigs of Yorkshire breed from the United Kingdom or Canada. This is a bacon breed type. It is the most widely distributed breed of pigs in the world. The large white. The large white is originated in the United Kingdom and features erect ears. This breed is known for producing high quality meat suitable for bacon. It is also regarded as a good mother and milker, capable of having litters of up to 11 piglets. The Chester white. It is originated in Chester Country, Pennsylvania. It is white swine with droopy, medium-sized ears. It is known for its good mothering ability, durability, and soundness. The Duroc Jersey is originated in the United States of America. It is a good meat type because it has good muscle quality, low back fat. However, it has a poor mothering ability though it can have litters ranging from 9 to 10. The Hampshire is known for its black color with a white belt that covers across the front legs around its body. It features erect ears and is known for its heavily muscled, lean meat. Poland China is an excellent feeder and gains readily under good conditions of care and management. It is known for having a very substantial bone and for being sound in its feet and legs. The Landris is originated in Denmark. 
it has a droopy ear. Its meat can be a good source of bacon and less black fat. It is considered to have the characteristics of a good mother because it can have litter as much as 11. The wild boar is very small in size but a ferocious and devastating breed. It has high genetic potential. The fat content is less compared to other breeds. Livestock farming provides a vital source of food for humans. Livestock produce meat, milk, eggs, and other animal products that are sources of protein, vitamins, and minerals essential for human nutrition. A time to remember. This is Teacher Mylene. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.